All right, what's going on, everybody? Today is the first day of the Eternity of Pain system, much like Summer of Pain was last year, where there's a single fight each week with some special objectives to award points, which will eventually translate into some really nice rewards. The first fight we have here is Crossbones that is very reminiscent of the pre-nerf version of 6.1.5 Crossbones that is typically the biggest roadblock on players way to the cavalier title so let's take a closer look here uh we have force of will which uh, is still there to this day biohazard which was replaced with a poison uh node that actually <laughs> makes the crossbones fight more difficult in my opinion but uh here we're given biohazard instead which is nice uh then we have vital strikes this one is new uh, as far as I'm aware, and it says when the defender strikes the attacker's block, the defender regenerates 500% of damage dealt. So we have to try our best to avoid not taking too many blocked hits. Otherwise, Crossbones is uh, going to be healing himself a bit. Uh, and then there's Bane, which again still exists uh, on the Crossbones fight. I believe it still does. You just have to uh, take it with the, the node up or something. Uh, then we have Inflated Ego. This one is different again as well. And actually these last two pair together. It says this defender takes 100% less damage while they have less than three buffs applied to them. So Crossbones needs to have the buffs. And the way we're going to do that is, well, Crossbones, he converts debuffs into Furies. Um, so we can just, you know, uh, parry him a few times, have him shrug those off, and then hit him with something else that applies a debuff. And yeah, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And he also has the Extend node, which is going to extend the duration of those Furies, making it a little bit easier to keep the Furies up on Crossbones. Um, that way we can deal damage. Um, but... That also means that he's going to be hitting pretty hard with those Furies, uh, along with the incoming Bane damage. We're going to need to use someone that uh, is fairly sustainable uh, if we want to get the one shot for this fight. So let's go ahead and back on out of here and make a selection. But before I do, I want to take a look at the special objectives. Now, uh, I only have access to two of them because I'm not Paragon. Uh, if you're Paragon, the third one is to defeat this champion with a Mystic opponent, something that clearly no Thronebreaker players would ever manage to do. So very appropriate that Kabam has this blocked off uh, in the way that they do. Uh, great game design. Uh, then we have uh, the two objectives that I have access to, which is defeating him with an XL champion and defeating him with a villain champion. So um, that's what needs to be done. And I've gone ahead and went over to Aunt May and I've selected XL, I've selected villain, and I see this list of champions before me, and I think, who is sustainable? That's an XL villain that uh, can probably get me through this fight. Uh, I would say King Groot. So that's who I'm going to go with. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a long, slow fight or what. Probably is. So what I'm going to do is I am not going to, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm going to record the fight, but I, I'm not going to play it the full thing back for you guys. I'll uh, speed it up or show parts of it and commentate over it. Uh, I felt like this was maybe better to do than doing a live stream this go around for Summer of Pain, um, at least for each weekly objective, maybe for the final one, if there is something, uh, you know, like last year, then uh, I'll, you know, do that that live but uh for these individual fights uh this is how i'm going to handle it this year is just uh doing the fight with the champion uh, of choice here of my choice and then uh commentate over it so let's give this a go all right here we go again we need three fury buffs on crossbones before we can deal damage which is why i'm not hitting him until i parry enough times that he shrugs those off and gains furies now i'm gonna hit him which will start the bane timer i want to make sure i can actually hurt crossbones before starting that timer uh, and then from here i want to use special ones on king groot uh, which will inflict armor breaks on crossbones uh, and the armor breaks will get shrugged off and those will turn into furies as well crossbones will also gain a fury on his special one so in combination of these two things um, he should pretty regularly have three fury buffs on him throughout the entirety of the fight uh, and you should always be able to deal damage um, the big worry then is the bane you can see it dealt a lot of damage to me even though it wasn't on me for all that long 
So early on in the fight, you you know you might you might need to restart the fight a few times until you get uh, enough good bane transfers in a row. Later on, once Crossbones' life goes down, uh, the bane won't hurt nearly as bad, and uh, you know it would be a lot more manageable if it uh, happens to stay on you. But here you can see it took a lot of damage. By the way, don't ever hit Crossbones' block if you don't have Furies, because uh, if you get poisoned while in your healing phase, then uh yeah you're in for a bad time um i'm usually using special ones with the healing buff active but i do try to get them in a little bit with the furies as well you can see i actually have three permanent armor breaks uh, on crossbones and this just helps my damage it, it, you know you don't need debuffs on crossbones to deal damage but each armor break is um something like 250 reduced armor so just having that reduced armor really helps because uh, this is a little bit of a longer fight i've cut the fight down uh, in total it was about nine minutes um king Groot actually deals some pretty good damage as you're going to see later on uh, his fury buffs start out only giving about 500 attack for a champion uh it's a, for a 565 champion but uh, you know, after a hundred seconds goes by in the fight, those Furies are actually a thousand each. Now you can see here, instead of popping a special one, my health was a bit low. So I've actually held for a special three and the special three, I definitely want to activate while I have the Fury buff active because that's going to extend a healing buff that I get from King Groot special three. Um, so it's going to heal. You can see I'm at 52% health right now. It'll heal for about 17% of King Groot's total health. It's actually just over 17%. Uh, and in combination with King Groot's baseline healing, uh, the two work really well together to keep you healthy. I only popped one special three in the fight, but if you're finding yourself getting, you know, nervously low on health, um, that's what you need to do is get to a special three. Um, now, one last thing I want to point out is that you can see I have six permanent armor breaks on crossbones. You want to be really careful not to get that number too high. Actually, before we set, discuss that, here's a special two, and you can see just how useless the damage from the special two is. Actually, he didn't even have... Oh, man, I just realized he didn't actually have three fury buffs there. That's why it dealt no damage. But even still, a, a big portion of the damage that you get from the special two is the poison, which will likely get shrugged off. But uh, back to the armor break thing, you can only have 10 total armor breaks on the opponent uh, from King Groot. So uh, once you get to about six or seven armor breaks, like permanent armor breaks, you have to use your special one in the healing mode. That way, uh, you know, you, you won't like go over the cap and you can still inflict crossbones with debuffs and not worry about that. Um, as far as uh, the healing on crossbones goes, you can actually reduce the healing that he gets if you have the despair mastery. Um, seven permanent armor breaks will completely nullify any sort of healing. And uh, yeah, I just pop a, a couple more debuffs on him and you can see uh, King Gru is able to take down crossbones again in roughly nine minutes in total. Kind of a long fight. I wish I had the details on for that one. 395 hits, uh, okay. There's the one gold reward, and I should now be able to claim both of those objectives. Yeah, there we go. Okay, first week of Eternity of Pain down. It was a really cool fight. Uh, I just wish that I had access to that third objective. Guess I, uh, have to get Paragon to do that. All right. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment of who you used for this fight. This way people can get an idea of, uh, you know, what other people used. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.